I've decided I'm going to make a video on converting Verdan Prime cases to regular Boxer Prime. Uh, some guys use hydraulics to push these primers out. Uh, I use the I use the primer to drill. I mean, it's it's essentially centered, and having that punch helps you get your drill bit where you want it to be. So let's get into it. You're going to need a seven thirty seconds drill bit. You can use just that to drill down to the bottom of the pocket. Uh, I like to touch it with an end mill. This is a 3 8 end mill. I'm just going to use a standard drill press. This is just a cheesy craftsman drill press. There's nothing special about it. And then a 3 30 seconds flash hole bit. So either the two bits... Or the two bits in the end mill like I use. Now let me see if I can set this up so you can see how I do it. So essentially I'm going to use that firing pin strike as a centering point to drill. Some guys remove these primers uh, with the hydraulic method which is great but then they got to get rid of the anvil. So by doing it like this with the 730 seconds bill for, uh, drill bit first it's keeping the bit centered and it helps you remove that anvil all in one move. You can hear it when it goes through the cup. If you look in there, you can see I'm drilling the anvil now. The bit was centered because I used the firing pin strike. So I drill it down till it looks like this. What that's done is it's created a spot where my smaller bit, my flash hole bit, is going to be able to just drill in. That little cup, the center or the tip of the bigger bit, it's kind of odd. It's like a reverse pilot. Usually people use a small bit as a pilot bit, but because we're drilling out the pocket, um, it just works out great this way. Otherwise, when you if you try to go in with the small flash hole bit first, then the bit can bend because it's flexible, and a lot of times you just ruin a bunch of cases. I'm going to change over to the smaller bit for the flash hole. Now we've got a centered flash hole. Now I will kiss this with the end mill and the other reason is because the Burdan primer cups are a little bit shallower than your standard boxer prime cups. So I'm going to take off a tiny bit of the inside of the primer cup and make it a little deeper for the new cup. Mill there. And the final result is now some guys buy copper tube like this usually eighth inch, uh, but you don't need to do that. All you need is some 22 long rifle spent cases. I'm going to show you how I do that. So we're going to be pressing a 22 long rifle spent case into that primer cup because there is a, the Burdan primers are actually wider, the diameter of them. So these regular large rifle primers are actually a smaller diameter. So we need to make up the distance in that space. And to do that, we're gonna use a spent 22 long rifle case. So 
I've got a series of bolts I use for different reasons. These you, you can get these from uh, anywhere. I got this from Fastenal. Called up and ordered them. I've got different lengths for different reasons. I use them on the press to make this press into an actual press rather than just a reloading press. So I put the bolt in there. I put the metal plate on the ram. This is going to set on the metal plate like this. And then we're going to press this 22 long rifle jacket into that case. Oops. And I dropped it. It's kind of fidgety. Hang tight with me. Now it's pressed in. Now I'm going to put it in the vise. And I'm going to cut it. And I'm just going to use a hacksaw blade without the handle. Uh, it doesn't take much to cut this. I keep pressure on the end of it pushing towards the case so it doesn't just pull it out of the cup. And I just take that off, that excess. Very simple. You could probably use a Dremel to do it. Uh, but you know, it's going to scratch up the bottom of the case a little bit. It's no big deal. It's not going to affect how it runs through your weapon. Right? So it looks something like that. Almost there. We're almost there. Sorry about the focus. Now we're going to swage that out. And then we're going to size the case. And we're going to put a primer in it. So to swage it, I'm just going to use a, an RCBS pocket swage up. Uh, you know, the uh, press swaging setup. It's a fairly simple rig. It's got a large and a small swaging seat. This is a uh, is what pops the case off, removes the case from it. It's got a, a special die. Now that I said there's a special die, it's not right here in front of me. Oh, I must have carried it off for some reason. Now with these dies, I find it best to get it on the die first and then push up. What this has done is it's now pushed that 22 long rifle jacket and filled that space. Now it's stuck, so this will take it off and it's now swaged out. A little bit of a crank with a deburring tool. And we now have a new primer pocket with our steel case. I'm going to give the case a little bit of a scrubbing, you know, with a wire brush in the neck, because they get rust in these steel cases all the time. It changes the actual inside diameter of it when you size it. And I'll scrub the bottom of the base, usually a little bit of paper. Maybe some steel wool. Get it all kind of cleaned up nice. Now we're going to get ready to reload it. I'm going to lubricate it. I just use a, a uh, liquid lanolin lube, homemade lube, like probably most people trying to save money. And then we're going to size it and uh, load it. I'm just using a lead die set up for the full length sizing. That's now sized. I usually go through twice with steel just to be sure. 
And they're going to put a primer in. And there it is. That's now sized and primed, ready to be finished. We're using uh, 24 and a half grains of 4198. And there's your loaded round. I'd probably still polish it up a little bit. Uh, you know, get rid of the lines on the bottom from the from the sawing. Again, you could use a Dremel. You can really take your time with that. It's a bit of a process, but now this is a reloadable round. So to give you an example, these up here that have been fired, I'll be able to just reload these. These were all Bird Dan primed cases. I've also done uh, Australian 308s that were Bird Dan Prime. These were 762 NATO rounds. Nice 308 case. Heavy duty. That's it. So the end result is a, you know, reloadable round it could be a steel case or a brass case it doesn't matter as i showed you the australian cases uh, once i fire these i'll be able to pick them up and reload them over and over and over again just like any uh, case you know any boxer prime case because it is now a boxer prime case uh, these are loaded with as i said it's 4198 24 and a half grains that's 124 grain bullet and uh, they will shoot fine so thanks for watching.